Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Briano, and uh, I'm coming to you tonight. Uh, this is a very uh, important broadcast. I don't know if uh, is that a little better on the lighting. I'm still streaming right now. I'm out and about taking care of business. Uh, my day has not ended for all intents and purposes, ladies and gentlemen. I want to talk to you about something that is now being rolled out that I've been warning you about and it is finally here. Okay? It is called YGIG Wi-Fi. The companies are now starting to get you to buy into the next generation of weaponry in your home, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Uh, there are now these uh, Wi-Fi routers, as if it's not bad enough to have Wi-Fi, ladies and gentlemen. They've got these Wi-Fi routers now that are coming out that have three, four, five, six, seven antennas on them. This is a very important discussion, folks. I need you to get your friends to tune in right now. Um, dealing with a lot of uh, censorship and uh, people wanting to silence my message, intercept my mail, uh, all kinds of things people do not want me getting through to you folks with. But I'm here to talk to you tonight about the YGIG, the tri-band Wi-Fi YGIG home internet routers. They are truly a weapon, folks. YGIGDangers.com W-I-G-I-G Dangers.com That is the new generation of home Wi-Fi that is going to use the absorption spectrum of the oxygen molecule frequency 60 gigahertz ladies and gentlemen they're going to be broadcasting in your home with your permission at 60 gigahertz ladies and gentlemen right Folks, um, all right, very important. They are going to be broadcasting using the frequency that the oxygen molecules absorb at, ladies and gentlemen. This is an emergency broadcast. Forget about Alex Jonestein for just a few minutes. I'll try to find a way to re-upload that video. I don't know what happened to it. But I want to talk to you about, uh, I've had several people ask me these questions about what this new Wi-Fi router is with all these antennas on it is and it is the weapon folks 5G is not gonna work unless you allow it to come into your house you've got to have a repeater you've got to have an access point that runs on 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz and 60 gigahertz ladies and gentlemen they are going for the oxygen molecules ladies and gentlemen that is what is happening. 60 gigahertz is the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum. Your body runs on oxygen. Most of your metabolic processes involving uh, carbohydrate and fats and uh, all these metabolic processes involve oxidation oxidation reactions you need oxygen to run your body folks have you ever tried holding your breath every ounce of your being works against you trying to do that has anybody ever tried to suffocate you it's the most horrible experience in the world that is exactly what 5g is going to do very slowly ladies and gentlemen now have you noticed all the trees are being cut down have you noticed that there is a push to get everybody into the compact cities. Have you noticed that most people never open their windows in their cars and in their homes? Have you noticed that nobody's outside anymore? Have you noticed that they have built the prisons with no locks on the door? That's right, folks. They've built the prisons with no locks on the door. Because they 
don't need to lock you in. They've got you trapped there with all of these evil pleasures that they have invented for you. Why gig is a weapon, folks. 5G is a weapon. But the most stealthily designed and evil component of the 5G agenda is the part that you have to bring into your house. The 5G is not going to get into your house from outside, folks. It may be beam-forming technology, but it has to bounce around to get to you, and it doesn't go through walls. It barely goes through windows. And if you have low E film or UV blocking film on your uh, windows and you've got these dual pane or triple pane windows with the with the gas inside them with these uh, films on them the, the the millimeter waves do not penetrate those you're gonna have to bring in a device into your house whereby you're gonna pick up the signal from outside and rebroadcast it on a frequency that is designed to affect the oxygen molecules the uh, 60 gigahertz frequency is the exact frequency of the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum. Now, there are trillions of frequencies that they can broadcast on, folks. You know, they can broadcast in the infrared uh, portion of the spectrum using light for crying out loud. It's called Li Fi. They can use light waves that are invisible to the human eye to transmit data just as effectively. How do you think fiber optic cables work, folks? They run the light through the cables. Light can carry tremendous amounts of data. They're cutting down the trees because they're going after the air we breathe, folks. You see, the current Wi-Fi systems operate on a dual band uh, setup, they use 2.4 and 5 gigahertz right now. That's the current Wi-Fi. 2.4 gigahertz happens to be, check this out, the exact frequency at which the maximum dielectric loss of water begins. That's a fancy term for the frequency that makes the water molecules rotate on their axis and bump into each other and cause friction. That's how it heats. That's called dielectric heating, folks. They're using the water molecule dielectric loss frequency for current Wi-Fi. They're going to use the oxygen molecule absorption spectrum frequency for the new Wi-Fi called YGIG on these uh, tri-band access points and routers that are coming to an electronics store near you. And your cell phone provider is going to try to get you to buy one of these things and install it in your home. Don't do it! Don't do it! Wake up, people! I am trying to reach you. This is an urgent broadcast, folks. Listen. Your body absorbs oxygen. And the oxygen that is absorbed is what is called diatomic oxygen, O2. These oxygen molecules like to hang out like a man and a woman like to hold hands. They share a bond. And they share their valence electrons like two lovers hold hands with their fingers, right? And the 60 gigahertz radio frequency emissions that they're going to make you bring into your house affect the spin properties, the orbital spin properties of the valence electrons of the diatomic oxygen molecules. And when you mess with the spin properties of the valence electrons, you interfere with the human body's ability to uptake and bind and deliver the oxygen because the hemoglobin cannot bind it correctly and carry it throughout your bloodstream to the tissues and organs and down to the cellular level that is requiring it to be transported efficiently. Our survival depends on an efficient and consistent delivery of oxygen to every cell in our bodies. And what are they doing? What are they doing, folks? You know, you know, I don't care if you got a perfect SAT score. I don't care if you have a PhD. I don't care if you're a, a, a janitor or a mechanic or a plumber or a meat cutter or a, a gas station attendant or a retail clerk. 
I don't care if you're a delivery driver. I don't care if you're a pool cleaner. I don't care if you're a landscaper. I don't care if you're a brick mason. I don't care if you're a framer or a roofer. I don't care if you're unemployed, on disability, if you're disabled, if you're psychologically not all there, if you're mentally ill. This is going to affect all of us. This is going to affect every man, woman, and child on the face of this earth because they're going to make you bring this into your homes and businesses. They're going to put it in the cars. They're going to put it in the planes. They're going to put it in the trains. They're going to put it everywhere. The schools first. There's already been a few schools in the United States that have put this in, folks, with disastrous consequences where this mystery illness plagued the students and staff as this weapons grade 60 gigahertz millimeter wave radiation was deployed and of course it involves some very high level players ladies and gentlemen the Saudi royal family and Samsung to name a few and what happened at this school where this was deployed unbeknownst to the board members and the staff is uh, like a military coup takedown of a city or a country. First it was the principal that got sick, and then the secretary in the principal's office, and then some of the teachers, and then the students. In that order, and they were collapsing, they were passing out, and as soon as they got home they were fine. It was an unexplained series of events that to this day has been uh, referred to as an unexplained mystery illness that was probably called dirty sock syndrome where there was some sort of contamination of fungal spores in the air conditioning system, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we face a crisis of epic proportions with 5G. And no, they're not going to get you from space. That is a quote-unquote globalist shill construct this EMF space appeal is a globalist, and I use that term uh, lightly, a globalist shill construct, controlled opposition, trying to get your eyes off the ball. They will never talk about the device you bring into your home. They want you getting on your hands and knees and pleading with the United Nations to not beam it from space. Ladies and gentlemen, that crap can't even go through a series of palm trees or pine trees. They can't get you from space. They're going to get you from your space in your home. Do you understand what I'm saying? This EMF space appeal is a globalist shill construct to run controlled opposition. And uh, I, I won't go into the spiritual component of that group. But I will tell you that their goal is to get your eyes on space, which doesn't have anything floating around up there, but water molecules and oxygen molecules that will block the stuff even if they could put it up there. They've got to put it nice and close to everything that's going to receive it. Yes, it's beam forming, but it doesn't work when the beam is blocked and pretty much everything blocks the beam. That's why they got to get rid of all the trees. Why do you think they've induced these droughts and this flooding and these hurricanes so they can just bulldoze everything and cut everything down? Because droughts kill trees, hurricanes kill trees, floods kill trees, and it destroys the infrastructure. And guess what happens? Guess what happens, folks? They get to put in the 5G when all the power poles get snapped and short-circuited. And all the copper wire doesn't work, so they throw the 5G, the 60 gigahertz, millimeter wave backhaul point to point systems in and guess what they're going to put it in your house if you bring it in don't bring it into your house folks do not bring in the new tri-band wi-fi routers they don't want to call them y gig routers because i've already got ygigdangers.com bought and paid for and up and running w-i-g-i-g-dangers.com not wi-fi y gig that is the new weapons grade uh, final stage here folks I'm gonna go into something real quick with all of you most of you live in uh, parts of the world where you've got to run your heater in the winter because it's very cold I live in Southern California not for much longer but here to be honest with you folks we don't even use a heater but I know those of you that need to keep all your windows and doors closed in the winter and you run your heater and you know what your heater runs on for the most part it runs on methane 
CH4 and what happens is the methane is run through a burner and it's ignited in the presence of oxygen and it produces carbon dioxide and water vapor and carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides of nitrogen on uh, uh, look folks the bottom line is you get heat but guess what it takes oxygen and guess what that heater burns up the oxygen in your house and after a while the oxygen your home oxygen in your home is going to get depleted all right now here's the problem we've got people that are living in these apartments and in these homes with the windows sealed up because it's bitter cold outside and they're running a heater or a wood burning stove or whatever that is burning up and using up all the oxygen in the home and they're exhaling carbon dioxide and the oxygen is not being replenished because they're living in places that there isn't a lot of photosynthesis going on and the air's thin they're at high altitudes with the windows closed up and so they're already oxygen deprived for the most part now add the trifecta, the tri-band Y-gig access point that's not only going to compete uh, with uh, your body's ability to uptake what limited oxygen is in your home in the winter time because of what the heater sucked out of the air, but what little oxygen is left will be rendered in such a way unbindable to the hemoglobin because of the effects of the radio frequency absorption of the diatomic oxygen molecules that are being bombarded with 60 gigahertz radio frequency emissions in the millimeter wave band spectrum that affect the orbital spin properties of the valence electrons interfering with your body's hemoglobin's ability to bind and deliver the oxygen. You folks need to upload this video, make DVDs, get this to everybody you know, because nobody is talking about this. And uh, I don't know how much longer we can talk about this. You need to get this video out there far and wide. This is an urgent broadcast, ladies and gentlemen. This is an urgent broadcast. This needs to get out. That's right. 5G is a whole different discussion in terms of what it's capable of, folks. I've just focused on the oxygen molecules, and the 5G is going to operate on different frequencies in the millimeter uh, band of the spectrum, millimeter wave band of the spectrum. The reason they want 5G is they're going to be able to remote control all your devices. They're going to be able to snoop on you and surveil you. They're going to run cameras and microphones and everything. They can actually read all the text. It's, it's like building a 20-lane highway that can deliver all the data back to these databases. I have a, uh, a friend of mine who uh, is a cable installer. And uh, he was taken uh, to the Nevada desert, blindfolded in Barstow and driven in a van, blindfolded with a couple other of his uh, workers for his company. And they were taken to a facility in the middle of the Nevada desert. He has no idea where. And uh, once they got inside the building, the blindfolds were taken off and they went 14 stories below the ground. And they were there to wire thousands and thousands of computers hardwire thousands of these computers and on the level that he was at the floor underground was the size of a football field ladies and gentlemen full of computers the 5g is going to be the all-seeing eye of lucifer that eye on the dollar bill that eye of aol the eye of a columbia broadcasting system that wink of the eye that the illuminati uh people on the television give and they paint on their head and they put in front of you mocking you it's finally going to come to fruition. But guess what, folks? You don't have to bring in the smart appliances. You don't have to bring in Y-Gig. You don't have to bring this stuff in. They've already got you bringing in Alexa and all these other, uh, what is that other thing, the Google thing and the Amazon Echo. They've already got you acclimated to depending upon this to remind you to take your pill and to take a dump. Folks, do not do this. I'm telling you, we can win this thing, but we need to be aware. And people need to understand what 60 gigahertz millimeter wave radiation does to the oxygen molecules. You need to understand a field of science called radiation biology, folks. They don't teach it in the United States. Uh, it is a very well uh, understood field in where? The Soviet Union, right? 
Radiation biology is not a course that is offered in any university or college in the United States of America. And radiation biology is a field of study that you need to understand is a field of study that is not allowed to be understood by the vast majority of the people in the world. Only a very select handful of people understand the interaction of radio frequency emissions on living systems. In college, they will teach you biology. They will teach you general chemistry. They will teach you organic chemistry. They will teach you inorganic chemistry. They will teach you physical chemistry. They will teach you nuclear chemistry. They will teach you qualitative analysis. But they won't teach you an interdisciplinary field that crosses over. You'll be taught biology. You'll be taught psychobiology. You'll be taught biochemistry. You'll be taught neurobiology. But you will not be taught radiation biology, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the reason I'm bringing this up is I have studied radiation biology at length. I have a degree in chemistry from the University of California, Irvine. I have a degree in biological science from the University of California, Irvine. And I have taken all those courses and I understand the complex reactions that take place between living tissues and organic and inorganic compounds and stimuli and organisms. And I've also studied what radio frequency fields do to living systems. And they don't want you to understand that, folks. It's a field of study that is dark. They don't want you to know. I'm warning you. That field of study is dark in the United States. They don't want you to know about it. It's a field of study that there's a total blackout on. Do you understand me? They don't want you to know. I'm here to tell you that you need to know. And we're running out of time to wake people up. God bless all of you. Get the word out on this. Here's a solution, folks. Don't bring the 5G into your home. Don't cut down the trees. Plant as many trees as you can on your property. Bring in as many house plants as you can into your home. Find out what plants are the best in your home to produce oxygen. You will find that they're very hardy, very cheap, and readily available. Learn and understand that hydrogen peroxide gives off oxygen. Learn to use hydrogen peroxide in a diffuser to increase the oxygen level in your home and house plants in your home, folks. And don't bring in that triband system. Or it's going to be lights out, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joe Briano, P.O. Box 4121, Fullerton, California, 92834. Coming to you live from the streets of Orange County, California. I want to wish all of you the best. Thank you for tuning in tonight on this emergency broadcast. If you're going to contact me, uh, please do it with registered or certified mail, ladies and gentlemen. All right? Don't send me anything any other way. P.O. Box 4121, Fullerton, California, 92834. Send it certified or registered and seal it good, and I will get it. And God bless you, because I want to tell you something, folks. I'm putting stuff out there that you're not going to hear anywhere else. This is vitally important information, and I need your prayers, and I need your support, and I need the word to get out while we can get it out, folks. Because this is a big deal. 5gdangers.com, wifidangers.com, ygigdangers.com, vaxdangers.com, celltowerdangers.com. I run those sites. Help me keep them going. God bless all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, ladies and gentlemen.